Hey everyone, this is Bora Ususa, your mentor from PeerMind. Today I'm going to show you how to use the track comping feature in Cubase. Here I've got a nice backing track that I'm going to play a solo over. And here I also got a lead guitar tone with the built-in amp rack plugin. I've already set my locators so that I can do loop recording. Here you can see the cycle option is on with the purple color. Track comping is recording your parts a few times over and over, then getting the best bits and combining them together. All the AWs, Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic and others, they all have this feature. Well, they should. Today, we'll be looking at it in Cubase. Before we start, it is a good idea to hit this Shove Lanes button. Every time I complete a take, a new lane will be created automatically under the previous one. Then I'm going to show you how to comp those, I mean combine those lanes, or takes I should say, into one. Here we go. That's enough. I think I have four takes now. I'll go ahead and listen to all of them and decide which bits are the best. Before we do that, let's toggle off the record enable button. You're going to need the comp tool. It is right next to the mute tool with the hand icon. Now I click on the first lane with the comp tool so we will be able to listen to the first take. Okay, sounds like I have an unfinished phrase at the end. So I'm going to move on to the next one and see how that sounds like. Not bad. I like the first phrase on this one, but we'll see. Let's move on to the third. This is also not bad, but there's some string noise in the beginning. That's why I tried to duplicate those string bending lines in the beginning on my last take. Let's hear that. Now I'm going to take this first part from the last take and add the remaining parts from the other takes. You see I got the comp tool and I just select this area from the third take. 
So it's going to play the first part from the last take and this part from the third take and again back to the last take for the ending. Let's hear how that sounds. Not quite. I'm going to move this and see if I'll be able to make it work. Mm, nope. How about this? I feel like I can be experimental here. Nah, undo that. Mm, what do we have there? So I'll take this part until here, until the end of the sixth bar, and I'm gonna go back to this one here. And then move up to the first take here. Let's try. Well, definitely not bad this time. I want to listen to it from the beginning. Okay, it is working. So I was able to use some bits and pieces from each and every take. Oh, actually, I need a little edit here in the end. Now it's time to toggle off this lanes button here. We do not need to see the lanes anymore. You see, we end up with the final comp track. Now I need to go back to the object selection tool since I'm done with the comp tool. And then I can make further edits. When you're finished with comping, you should get rid of the overlaps. Since you're seeing these diagonal lines, it means there are overlapping audio underneath them. To get rid of them, click on the triangle in the middle of the audio event at the bottom and hit Remove Overlaps. Do the same for the remaining parts. I think we're all set. Some more little tweaks to finish the edits. How about some crossfades? For crossfades, select all events and hit the X button on your computer keyboard. I'd like to hear the final result after the edits. <laughs> Well, honestly, I don't like that band over there, but this is just a Cubase training video, isn't it? That's all for today. It was track comping using Cubase's built-in loop record and comping features. One more time, I am Bora Uslusoy, your mentor from PeerMind, 
and Steinberg Certified Cubase Trainer. Feel free to schedule your online mentoring session with me on Cubase, Pro Tools, recording and editing techniques, mixing, mastering, and anything related with music production. And I'll see you again. The Pyramind Mentorship Network connects you to experienced professionals for truly customized private training in music production, sound design, music business, and more. Use our scheduling tool to select the type of training you want, pick your mentor, find a day and time that works best for you, then book your session. Your appointment will be confirmed instantly. Study only what you want, progress at your own pace, pay as you go, and do it all from the comfort of your home or studio. Our global network of industry experts are here to help you. Visit pyramind.com mentorship to get started.